As we come toward the end of the practice week, it's Thursday, turnover Thursday here at Seahawk headquarters. Hi again, everyone. Tony Ventrella, Seahawks.com. Creating turnovers is exactly what defensive coordinator Gus Bradley has in mind. It's something that his defense has not done enough of in its first two games. We haven't got any, you know, takeaways like we, we you know, we stressed all during training camp and, uh, you know, we're going after the ball in practice. We've had our opportunities. A classic example was the goal line play, you know, last week. Here we're coming on a goal line cat. Biggs is coming off the edge. You know, Ben can't see him. He's got a chance to go for the ball. We just missed an opportunity to get the ball. So we've been stressing that with our players, you know, showing them that there's missed opportunities for us to get the ball. And, uh, you know, I, I constantly tell them they'll come in bunches. You just got to keep believing, keep believing, and we'll get them. The Arizona offense has put some points on the board in its first two games, and quarterback Kevin Cobb has completed 35 of 57 passes with four touchdowns. The Seahawks need to get some pressure on him. We, you know, we, we brought a lot of pressures last week, a lot of pressures. And, uh, you know, when we played our base calls, we did very well against the run, extremely well against the run. When we brought pressure, there was that time some of the plays hit us. And, uh, you know, so it goes back and forth to where we've got to be able to get, you know, pressure on the quarterback and heat it up with four guys. But, uh, you know, the way it is, where there's 15 quarterbacks, I think there was, we, count, or we checked it out, that average over 65% completion last week. You know, I mean, they're on fire. And you got to do something to slow them down. Cardinals wide receiver Larry Fitzgerald is a unique talent in the NFL, and he'll be up against Brandon Browner. Part of the, the, the evaluation of Brandon going, on, going in was that he could match up against big receivers because he's unusually tall and long. And, uh, yeah, you know, I've thought that we're anxious to see how it goes. You know, he plays against Mike and, and against Durham and those guys, and he feels comfortable with those guys. But nobody's really comfortable playing Larry Fitzgerald. You know, there's just no easy go here. So... Now to the offensive challenge for the Seahawks. Coming off a scoreless effort against the Steelers, it's important for the Seahawks to get off to a good start at home this Sunday. We want to start fast every game, but uh, haven't been working out like that. The season hasn't worked like that so, so far. So uh, we just want to make sure we come out fast and execute early. And, you know, who's to say it has to be close? So uh, we just want to go out and start fast and finish you know that's the main thing we don't want to start fast and have a low you know towards the end we want to come out fast and and finish what about targeting mike williams downfield a little bit more against the cardinals i like to see everybody targeted more often you know and, and mike included uh we, we need more plays when I mean, that means more first downs and and uh so uh um, you know no no more mike than anybody else in the offense but uh, we're, we're better when Mike's a factor, you know, and, and, and he's getting balls and you have to deal with him. Um, so the, right now there's been so few opportunities for us because we haven't been creating our, our first downs that, uh, you know, we, don't, we haven't seen much of our guys yet. You know, we haven't been able to get the ball down, downfield to him as much as possible, but uh, uh, we're going to have some chances. You know, we had some chances in the past. You know, it was either me not, not seeing it uh, or, you know, just the coverage taking me a different place, you know, just my reads taking me to a different place. So um, we're going to make sure we're going to try to get the guy the ball as much as possible. But, you know, we haven't had a whole lot of plays uh, on offense. Got to stay on the field, you know, so we can get guys more touches. And, of course, it's back to 12 weekend. Lots of Seahawk alumni will uh, be at the game on Sunday. This is a great time to get out and watch that first home game of the season against Arizona. Kickoff 115. For tickets, stay right here on Seahawks.com. I'm Tony Ventrella. We'll see you tomorrow.